love or welcome back to let's cook with kai today i'll be showing you how i cook my semolina and i have uh we always eat semolina with stew so as you can see that's a smoky rib stew if you want to find more information how i did cook the smoky rib stew you can go to let's cook with sky on youtube and i'm going to drop a link below on description of this video so let's get started with the semolina so with the semolina it depends of the sizes of semolina you are looking to make so with my one i have one cup of water and i'm using one small cup of semolina as well and sometimes to be honest i'm not gonna lie to you when i'm cooking my semolina i don't really go on and measuring them so what i always do i keep adding them gradually it depends of how you want your semolina you want it harder or you want it soft softer so what it is now i'm going to wait for my water to get very hot start bubbling when the bubbles start coming up and then i'm going to start whisking my semolina by using my whisk and semolina gradually pouring a little bit on the water so let's get started so as you can see i'm gradually pouring my semolina into my pot and whisking it to avoid uh, the semolina to become a bit thick because sometimes when you are pouring the semolina you are not mixing them they can become thick and they can turn up to little um, spot or balls balls that's the word and it's not going to be really enjoyable to eat so I'm going to keep on mixing it you can see it's becoming a bit uh, heavier so i will have to leave it for a couple of uh, minutes that's not more than you know just like two minutes or three minutes to so just let it boil a little bit to get cooked then i'm going to come back mix it mixed mixed more and add a little bit if it's a bit softer if it's a bit harder you don't want to get something that very very extremely hard because it's not going to be really nice but you don't need to be very soft as well so you just work on the middle as you mix it you can feel how heavy it is becoming so now i'm going to cover my semolina and leave it for two or three minutes to get bold a little bit there we go so just give it three minutes or two minutes and when you're cooking your semolina you don't want to have your cook temperature on the higher level because you can get the semolina burn and your pot is going to get burned on them because semolina is going to be smelling burn smell. so i'm going to go back now mix it up can you see how, how, how heavy it's becoming now so of course it's a little bit softer than I, I you know i was expecting i'm going to add a little bit of uh, semolina so this time i'm not going to use my whisk i'm going to use my wooden spoon because it's the final step and when you're adding your semolina it's not really going to turn up to little balls because they're really heavy already they're thick there we go so it's getting ready i like it like that because what happened with the semolina sometimes when you make it a bit harder much harder when they become be cold when they cool down they talk they become hard they turn harder again so you don't need it to be very hard you need to be a little bit softer so when they cool down you can be still maintain those softness for you to eat it properly make sure you mix it properly around you don't want to leave other extra semolina on the corner or anywhere around your pot that's it done ok 
hokey dokey now i'm going to pour my semolina into my bowl there we go what i do sometimes i always put a little water inside and then i chuck the water away so to get the semolina a little bit moving and then i give it that circle shape I find it nice. It looks nice like that for display actually, but you know when you start eating we don't care about what display is So that's say name of your semolina you can eat a lot of your recipe with your semolina There we go That's a very nice good combination. Thank you for listening to me today for more information about the soup, please look on the description box below thank you see you next time